Okay, now let's see how we can determine the phase difference between two waveforms. So, you'll notice that this peak starts first and then this one starts a little bit later on. How can you tell which channel is which from channel one and channel two? Well, the way to do that is if you grab this knob and put it on channel one, you see that that is the higher peak and this is the lower peak. Channel one and then channel two. And that means that channel one is leading channel two. That's the way you say that, channel one leads channel two. But by how much? By how many degrees does channel one lead channel two? The way to find that is to make these adjustments. I mean, sometimes you'll get even some really complex waveforms like that, but you want to make the adjustments so that they're about the same height to begin with, roughly the same height. And then use these knobs here and here to make, to, um, make sure that the tops of these peaks are along the same line for easy measurements. So I'm going to pick this line, and I'm going to take this one and lower it down until it's about the same height. The next thing you do is you measure the wavelength from the top of that peak over to the top of this peak. So that's the wavelength, and you can pick either one of those waveforms for the wavelength. And then you measure the distance from peak to peak. What you do with that is then you call this distance from peak to peak, lowercase Greek letter delta, and the distance from peak to peak over here in divisions from the oscilloscope screen. Uh, that's going to be the wavelength. So you have this measured in divisions and that measured in divisions. Then you take the lowercase Greek letter delta divided by lambda the wavelength and multiply that by 360 and you have the phase difference between the two waveforms.